to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here. I hope you are all well. Just wanted to say a quick hello and thank you to all of our new subscribers. Welcome to the channel and a big hello and a thank you to everybody that's been here for the journey and has been with us a little while as well and a big thank you to you um, just for all your continued support because it's very very much appreciated. Now this is the point in the video where I feel the need to put up a little disclaimer. If you should hear any background noise that sounds like a human howling in pain, please don't be alarmed, it is not a human howling in pain. <laughs> it's one of my dogs. She's outside, she's in season and she's showing off because the others have gone out for their daily run and she's got to stay back at camp. So please don't be alarmed if you hear anybody howling, it is just Rosie. <laughs> I can promise you no Rosies were damaged or hurt in the making of this video. Oh, she's such a drama queen. <laughs> right, anyway, moving on. So what are we going to do today? Well, yesterday's video, we made, well, I made, that was a royal we, um, a master board using um, the lovely products that came out of the box that was from um, your creative studio. Um, now today I want to utilise the master board to create something. Well, several somethings maybe, but we'll work on one thing at a time. So what I want to do today is I want to make a tag, a special tag out of it. Um, this idea has been inspired by um, a very lovely lady and a very good friend of mine. Her name is Carol Ann. She has got a YouTube channel. It is called Kaj Crafts. I will put the link to her video um, in my description box. Please go over and check out her channel and show her some of your support. Um, she's got a, a fantastic um, series running at the moment called Tag Tuesday. Um, and I've been desperate to try some and just haven't had the chance up to now. But I thought, oh, I definitely can use this today to make one of Carol Ann's tags. So um, that's where we're heading with this. But she's just hit her 2,000 subscribers. So big congrats to you, Carol Ann. Um, and if you haven't yet been over and checked her channel, please do so, because um, I know she would appreciate your support. So how are we going to do this? Right, well, I've had a little look around at what I had on my desk. Um, obviously, I've got my master board, but I've also got um, this. Now, I'll be honest with you, I think I've only ever once used uh, this paper. This paper is what your um, subscription box items come wrapped in. So you have that lovely box and then inside Amanda has it beautifully wrapped up in this, this lovely paper. Now I have kept every sheet of this paper because I have a box over there behind me where I put all of my bits and pieces that I get um, and I've kept every one of these and, and once I did use it as, as a page in a journal um, but I just forget that they're there. So I'm going to be utilising this today. So, but you can do this with any, any bits of paper that you've got, obviously, as long as they're, you know, long enough. I'm going to be cutting this down. Um, you can see the semi-folds. I was just checking the sizes. Um, but, you know, you can use any, um, any bit of paper that you've got to do this. Um, you'll see now what I'm going to do with it anyway. But just don't feel you have to have a large sheet because you don't. You can do it with three smaller pieces. So, first and foremostly, I am going to cut into my master board. Oh, I don't know about you. Are you am I the only person that finds it really hard to cut these? <laughs> I look at him like, oh, but it looks so pretty. I don't want to cut it up. But no, I have to cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down here. I'm going to avoid the red label because it's annoying me. And I'm going to cut down here, okay? And then while I've got my cutting um, trimming board, I'm going to just neaten those edges up there as well and um, anything that's overhanging will just be tidied up um, i'm just going to cut that and i'll be straight back okie dokie so that's the first bit done i have cut that so the next thing that we're going to do now um i've just grabbed my uh scoring board um and i'm just going to score um two little lines in the center of um this length here now my my piece is um Oh, it would be half, wouldn't it? It's 27 and a half centimetres long. So it's just over. So I need to find um, some centre points. I told you I hate doing maths, look, on uh, on camera. So half of 27, let's go half of 26, 13. So 13 and a half and a bit. Well, that's not going to be possible. So I'm going to go uh, either side of that and it's going to be slightly... Ah, that's going to be so annoying. I should just cut it down, shouldn't I? Let me just check. Where am I at there? Right, okay. So I've got a mark there now. So now I need to go, yeah, it's 14. All right, that'll be fine. We'll go there. Sorry, that was my that was my bit of maths working out, out loud then. But, and I can't find my actual white scratchy thingy. You know what I mean. And uh, so I just hope now 
if he's slightly out, I'll have to just trim a bit off one way or the other, won't I? But um, that should be okay. That should be okay. Right. Now, bear in mind, you're watching the kind of... Um, <laughs> what do we call it in this country? <laughs> What's that term that we use? Um, I don't know. Basically, the smart price uh, version. <laughs> you're watching the, uh, the the discount deal version here. So if you want to watch the, the professional bit done you're gonna to have to go and check it out with caroline so see now because my my thing is not equal my thing is not equal <laughs> that was a technical term right no because it wasn't equal in length and i haven't been able to score equal in length i have a slight overhang do you see but that's fine i will deal with that later on when we come back to it so for now that is the base of my my, my tag okay because we've got two sides I'm not explaining this terribly well, but you'll see what we're doing as I'm going along. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do now is make um, a bit inside. We're going to have pockets inside of it. <laughs> there are definitely terms for all of this, and I can't remember any of them. Caroline, you me. He wasn't paying attention. I was. I was paying attention, but I was a little bit distracted. I was a little bit distracted. So, um, right. Yes, I'm going to make three pockets out of this, but I needed the length of these pockets at uh, this tag to know how big to make my pockets. Does that make sense? Now, I'm going to do this really kind of, you know, um, oh gosh, I nearly said slapdash then. I'm not going to do it slapdash, but I'm not going to sit and measure all the ruler. That's just not me, is it? No. No, we don't do things like that. I know what I want to measure things. That's just irrelevant no I, I tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to fold this paper in three and then i'm going to just work out if it's too long and if it's too long i'm just going to trim it down simple as that it'll be fine it'll be fine right sorry they're out there whinging very distracting and but rosie please just settle <laughs> i was shouting at the door to her about 10 minutes ago rosie lie down lie down stop being dramatic she was making that much noise she couldn't hear me to the point where i managed to walk all the way outside up the path normally they hear you coming a mile off to the kennel open the door and look inside she wasn't in the kennel i was expecting to be in so i was like where's the dog gone and then she was sat there howling and she does this and i, I said what are you doing and she jumped because she hadn't heard me approach oh, she's so naughty she is so naughty she hates to feel i'm just gonna pop a bit of tape on there she hates to feel she's missing out on something and she if there's food oh my word the whole time they're out walking, all she does is get a bunch of food. She's a clumber pa a spaniel, she is. Um, I don't know if any of you know what a clumber spaniel is. They are big, the big, white, fluffy things um, that sometimes have quite droopy eyes. She hasn't got terribly droopy eyes, but... Um, oh, my goodness. If there's food about, you don't stand a chance of getting any of their attention. Um, but she she's very funny, but she's also very silly. I mean, she's in season. She's just a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> So she's just going to have to suck it up and be a big girl, isn't she? And just stop being silly. Honestly, I tried to think of my neighbours in this thing. That's why I could go out there because I think I hate to think they thought we were being unkind to her. But she's just silly. I can't I can't have her going out walking when she's in season. All the dogs will be going bonkers in the field. It's not really fair, is it? So no, she has to stay in. We'll have a fortnight of this now. <laughs> I'll be saying, oh, tell me when you want for a walk. I'm going to go out because <laughs> I can't stick the knives. Isn't it terrible? Honestly. There we are. Right, so that's that one done. I'm going to do that three times. Did you catch what I just did then? Sorry, I'm waffling. You haven't come here for technicalities, guys. You're going to have to go to Caroline for technicalities. I'm just being inspired by her and you're just joining me for the ride. But um, I know you don't come to me for technicalities. We're going to fold our sheet of paper into three. Okay? And as long as when you fold it, you've got the right measurements. I don't mind how you fold it. Um, but yeah, you can see what I'm doing, aren't you? You get the idea. You're not going to see much of this because they're going to be stuck one on top of the other to be concertinaed as, as little like opening pockets. Do you see what I mean? So they'll be stuck like that in the centre. There is a term for this too, but you know me. I just can't ever think of the words. So it'll be like that look. And then you'll open up like a... Oh, I nearly had the word then. You'll come to me in a minute, I'm sure. Oh, busy, busy day. I'm off to Swansea tomorrow to pick up my number two. He's coming home for a month, which will be nice because we haven't seen him for a while now. Um, it's end of term. And then back then after Easter for exams. Oh, and then all being well then. That'll be year one over, bless him. 
I can't believe how quickly the time's gone. I really can't. Just been sorting out his digs for next year. So tomorrow we're going to view where he's hoping to stay next year. Um, he, he, he did have a house all organised. He was going to share a house with some friends there. Um, but somebody's dropped out and then another person dropped out. And then um, but it's just basically the, the kind of... They, they all needed to agree or, or none kind of thing, you know. So um, it was back to the drawing board. And then some of the lads out of his current dorm then were um, going into, like, it, like um, student digs, you know, what do you call it? Purpose built. That's the word I'm for, sorry. Um, so they, the one lad said to him the other day, oh, you know, there's a, a room left on our floor. Why don't you find out about that? So I've made a few calls tonight and tomorrow we're going to go in and view this flat so that'll be that sorted we have a lot more organized this year than we were last year i can tell you because that was just crazy last year last year my son was due to go well he decided he was going to go back and um repeat his second year of college and um on our way down to his appointment to sign up he had an email from one of the universities that he'd applied to, and they'd offered him a place through on clearing. Um, and it was just really unexpected. So we hadn't done anything um, in preparation for it. And literally within three weeks, he'd gone. It was, I gotta be honest, I didn't really, I can't say I didn't take much notice at the time. I'm very much one of these people that if I can't, if, I, if my brain thinks I'm not gonna be able to cope with what's going on, I just don't think about it at all. I just get on with it and you know i think it's like perhaps the mum gene i don't know it just kicks in just cope just blot everything else out don't think about it just do it just do what needs to be done you know and uh, you do don't you just plow on and so i hadn't really thought about it so you know i didn't i don't did i i think i felt a little upset when i came back after dropping him off but because we were back and forth visiting then i, I very quickly got over that and life is so chaotic in my family we just seem to have one thing going on after another so i haven't really had time to think about the fact that he was away i miss him miss him very much because he's really helpful um and he's lovely company but it's, it's just been so strange i just can't believe the year is almost gone so um no it'd be lovely to have him home now for a couple of weeks um over the easter halls you can see where i'm going with this now can't you guys all that waffling and what have you starting to make sense now so all i've got to do now because i didn't measure anything is now work out to make sure that all of this is the right length that needs to be slightly shorter inside quite a bit slightly shorter because carol ann showed us a way to um put a tie in the top of this tag i need to now notch my tag to i'm looking over the top of you sorry somewhere in here i've got a little card is that it there no no it was a card in there that i'd cut all my tag notches in. Oh, we come up with these great things that, and then I lose it. Anyway, right. So I'm going to just cut this down. I'm going to cut them all down. <laughs> oh God, I'll cut it out there. I really hope you guys can't hear. Uh, if you do, I do apologise. It is. I know it sounds traumatic, but it really isn't. She is just sat in her bed making a ridiculous noise. She's so silly. She really is. But she's so loud. So fascinates me. Like if I behaved like that when I was a kid, I would have had my legs smacked. But they're braying like that, honestly. Silly dog. Right, where are we? I'm going to take it down to there, I think. Yes, that will do nicely. I might just trim those edges a bit neater as well. Um, I'm going to do this on my paper cutter. Let's keep it all nice and tidy, shall we? For a change, right? I don't know. Right, let's just... Literally a smidge off here now. I hope they're all going not. Come on, Rachel. Nice and tidy. Nice and tidy. So I was afraid that yesterday's video might have been a bit of a botch because um I didn't have the best day yesterday. I've been waiting um <laughs> some considerable time, probably about ten months, I think, for an appointment to see an um, orthopaedic surgeon um, because I've been having problems with my knees. Most of you know I've got rheumatoid arthritis, yeah. Um, so, um, knees started playing up a, a little while ago um, and, you know, it, it, it'd come and go, but 
but uh, last year more so than ever it, it was just horrendous um, and of course any of you that got autoimmune conditions will know seasonally as well they get worse you know I, I'm, and we're all different me I like the summer I'm great in the summer um, and I don't mind the hot weather um, but the cold and the damp oh, my body hates it so um, I'm just going to neaten that up now Anyway, the knees were flaring up really, really bad. Finally went on an MRI scan. They were like, yeah, you've got serious um, corrosion behind the kneecap. You need to go and see your orthopedic surgeon. Like, right, okay, great. Get my appointment. Let's just get this sorted. Just get things back on track, you know. I really miss my Zumba and all that kind of stuff. Just cannot do it. I did try last spring to keep going with it, and it just made things like 100,000 times worse. It's good, I suppose, isn't it? All bouncing up and down and what have you. So, um, I finally had an appointment come through. Went yesterday. And oh, I just was so naffed off because I just felt it was just a complete and utter waste of time. After you wait all that time. And um, I got in there and he basically just said, well, you know, there is a procedure we can do. But he said, I don't particularly rate it. Success rate's not very high. I don't really think it's going to give you much more. Well, his first words are, what do you want from this? And I said, oh, I'm 42. I clearly don't want to be trampolining, but I would like to have some quality of life. You know, we used to be quite busy, quite key. I was running, I ran a half marathon in Vegas, down the Vegas Strip, the year before I was diagnosed with rheumatoid. And um, I actually did three half marathons that year. They had they, like, my little claim to fame, one of those things you're kind of really glad you did, you know. Uh, I haven't run since 2014 now, it was the end of that, but I don't want to kind of have to run again, but I'd like to be able to just get up and do stuff, you know, walk down 20 stairs or whatever, without my legs shaking, and so anyway, I said, oh, you know, that's, that's I just want to be able to do stuff, you know, uh, and he said, oh, well, you know, this operation is, you know, we, we can do it, but I, I, you know, we don't put much... Uh, hoping it, you know, it's outcome, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, you're really selling this, aren't you? So I said, oh, well, you know, what, what, what will it entail? He said, oh, well, we'll basically insert plastic and a metal um, plate into behind the kneecap. He said, basically, it replaces your kneecap. Um, and then they've got to, like, find a way to attach it or what have you. So I was like, right. Um, but he said, it's just not always successful. And I thought, well... And I said, is that all that we can do? So he said, oh, well, you could try physio, you could try, you know, you have injections in your knee, you can this, that, and the other. And I just thought, oh, crikey. So I thought, well, if you're not very confident about this, mate, I mean, I was all prepared to just have whatever needed to be done, you know? But he didn't make me feel at all confident in the process. Um, so I was at a bit of a loss then, because I wasn't expecting, I was expecting to go there and there'd be a bit of a plan, you know? Um... Whereas he was kind of just, I felt, throwing the ball back in my court. So I said, oh, well, you know, look. He said, what do you want to do? I said, well, look. I said, um, if it's not, you know, um, high, you know, high success rate, let's go for perhaps the least intrusive method first and try that and see where that gets me. So I said, you know, let's start with some physio then, shall we? And so, you know, because I did say, oh, you know, what, what, what's physio going to do? Um, and he said, oh, it's something to do with the alignment. They can help you do um, exercises to uh, perhaps realign. Um, I only double-sided tape to hand now, guys. We've got double-sided tape. Put a strip of double-sided tape down to stick these one to another. I don't have any double-sided tape to hand. <gasps> Shock, horror. How could I be saying that? I just don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it with a bit of glue. So if you don't have double-sided tape, doesn't matter. Use a bit of glue. But you're just putting the glue in the centre. All right. Um, so, no, he said, uh, yeah, you know, let's try this, let's try the physio. So I was like, right. He said, and then come back in six months and see me again and we'll see where you're at. So I was like, right. I just didn't find him very um, self-explanatory. Is that perhaps a word I'm looking for? Um, he didn't really explain much about what was the problem was or, you know, I don't know. I just felt that it could have gone better. So I felt a bit deflated coming out of there yesterday because... You know what it's like. We wait a long time for medical appointments. I'm not. It's not a criticism of, of the, our medical services. I know they're very stretched. I understand that uh, completely. Um, but it's just when you do wait patiently, you know, you just get normal things, and then it comes round, and you're like, oh, finally, you know, we're gonna get things sorted. And then it's like, oh, okay, maybe not. 
Um, so yeah, I was a bit, a little bit disappointed yesterday, um, and a, a bit frustrated because I kind of thought they were going to give me a magic answer and everything was going to be great, and I'd be able to, yes, maybe trampoline again. <laughs> Um, but I, like I say, I just, I would just settle for being able to go and walk long distances and not have a knee ache, you know, um, and to be able to get up the stairs without my knee clicking out the wrong way or something, um, you know, but there we are. I'm over it today. I've dealt with it. So moving on, onwards and upwards. I'm just looking forward to going and having a chat with a physiotherapist who I might understand what you're saying because, uh, these consultants and surgeons they speak another language to us don't they they just on another plane you know and i'm like okay but talk to me in like you know layman's terms so i can understand what's going on i'm going to just close that down a second so that it doesn't fall out to the bottom because that would kind of defeat the object wouldn't it so uh yeah don't forget to seal up your bottoms of your pockets i do apologize if this is a bit all over the place today guys like i say i didn't intend for this to be teachy teachy i'm showing you what i can do on my master board but if you want a, a good in-depth talk through and a teach on how to do this um you need to go and watch carol ann's video um and show her some love carol ann is on my design team carol ann's amazing we love carol ann um she wasn't very well recently um she uh she had a bit of a flare up and uh but she's she's up i think and fighting fit again now she's doing well this week so um she, she's great she's a real champion for um for our, ch our channel and our uh, designs and i'm very grateful for that and she's coming to our um what's it called what are we doing a retreat we're having a retreat did you know we're having a retreat if you didn't know go and check out the information it's on our facebook group if you're not in our Facebook group and don't do Facebook or want information, drop me an email. Uh, it is in the UK. I am sorry. I know there's been a lot of you that <laughs> have expressed your disappointment to me. Guys, if I could hop on a plane and come over, I would. I really would. I'd love nothing more. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, uh, air travel is just not happening between us and you guys. It is just so expensive. Um, and I, I just, yeah, we just couldn't do that. So, um, I am sorry. Um, but they will be, um, they will be, we are doing an option for people who can't get there. We will be having a bit of a digital passport thing going on. So there's no need for anybody to miss out, put it that way. But if you are here in the UK and you'd like to come and see what all the excitement's about. Oh, I completely messed that up there then. Do you see what I was trying to do? I was just trying to put a bit of tape over the bottom of that annoying bit and i completely missed it because i got the wrong, my wrong glasses on ah oh, rach crikey there are some days when you just think i shouldn't have put the camera on today i'm gonna call this rachel's blunders video i think i've seen a few of those go up lately and i'm like hmm i try to avoid earing my blunders if i can help it but well that's who we are <laughs> that's what we're doing have you been over to bella's channel at all this week guys have you seen what she's up to She's making another beautiful prayer journal. She's got some really great projects going on over there. She's been uploading like crazy this week. So please do go over and support her channel. For those of you who are not aware, Rach and Bella Crafts. Rach and Bella, I'm Rach. Bella is my mum. Um, when we first started out, we were both using the same channel. Um, it became quite problematic with all the lockdowns and everything then because I couldn't always get up there. I went back to work, I did, and I couldn't always get up to mum's then to get the video from her to upload it and it just got silly to the point where we were just like look mum let's just set up a channel for you too and she's just been amazing and she has just become monetized or oh, she's been offered the opportunity to become monetized so she's now just passed her uh subscriber goal and her you know you do a certain amount have a certain amount of watch hours on you so she's just passed that um and yeah so it's been really exciting so a huge thank you to you all for uh supporting her with that I'm just going to cut those off there, I think, because that's going to be annoying. Um, but yeah, please do go over and support her and check out what she's up to and um, support her channel too, if you wouldn't mind. I know she would very much appreciate your support. Um, and we do quite different stuff, quite different stuff. Um, 
my mother is amazingly talented. She's amazingly talented seamstress. She does lots of slow stitching. She works with lots of beautiful lace. Um, and she introduced me to junk journaling. So everything I know, I learned from her. Um, but yes, please do go over and, and show her some support. I know she would very much appreciate that. Um, oh, there we go, guys. We, we're there. We got there eventually. All the fiddling and the fussing, and we've gotten there. There you go. Do you see what I'm aiming for there? Look, I just didn't want that showing out of the sides there. <laughs> this has been the most non-technical <laughs> tutorial ever, I think. Right, now I can't remember how Caroline attached this to hers now, so I'm just going to, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, I can't even think what the word is. Gosh, you don't come here to see me for common sense, do you? I'm going to just wing it. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to freestyle. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and hope for the best. So again, we're going to go with the glue down the centre because Rachel doesn't have any double-sided tape to hand. I do have some somewhere. You just don't have it to hand. And I'm going to just stand this up again so I know it's in the middle. And then I'm going to just press that down there. Let's just straighten it up. Oh my goodness, how could it out there? Deary, deary me. Drama's not the word. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was out there making that noise? Can you just imagine it? Imagine what my neighbours would say. Oh, dear me. She's terrible, honestly. He'll come back in a minute with the others and then she'll have a play in the garden then for a while. And then that'll be it. Then she'll be fine. Once she put a dinner down in front of her, you want you to peep at her. Deary me. Now, I think my scoring was probably a little optimistic at the bottom. I don't think I needed the full inch, but my scoreboard, oh, it does in the middle. Silly Billy. I could have made them slightly smaller, but it doesn't matter. I, this is my first attempt. I know Caroline's going to be very proud that I've had a go because this is the first of her Tag Tuesday challenges that I've managed to try out. And I think that m monster ball is not a monster ball. Oh, my word. I have lost the plot now tonight, haven't I? It's, not, it's, it's a master board. I think the master board looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to live that one down. I'm not even going to edit it out. I said something last night I shouldn't have. And I know I meant to edit it out, but I didn't because I forgot. <laughs> oh, Rachel, what are you like? Right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See, I'm starting myself coughing again now, look. I'm just wondering if... I really want to use these look and I'm just wondering if I pop these on the top here and then put the eyelets in the I reckon that finish it off nice and look it's perfect the size shall we do that I don't know why I'm asking you guys not you can answer me is it I know you do try but essentially I'm just here alone on this journey today <laughs> And you're all saying, I know, thank goodness for that. I'm sure if most of you were here, you'd have given me a clip on the ear by now. Talking a load of nonsense on my monster board. So I got Frankenstein paper and monster boards. <laughs> this is becoming quite horrific, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to be crafting. It's not the horror channel. My word. Right, I'm going to put one on either side. <clears throat> oh, and just to, just to top it off all the crazy. I don't know if I told you about the crazy yesterday. Um, as I say, obviously... It's been planned for Rob to come home now tomorrow. I'm going to collect him um, for a couple of weeks. Um, the other half, he had booked off a fortnight's annual leave because basically he hadn't used it. And it, if he doesn't use it in the next two weeks, they'll just take it off him. Uh, he was, he'd arranged to go and do some paint work for somebody who unfortunately isn't ready now for the work to be done because the, the, the workman that was meant to go there before him to do stuff hadn't turned up. Uh, so obviously he can't go in and paint because otherwise they'll go in after him and make a right mess. Um, so we, I was faced then Friday with the knowledge of I'm going to basically have um, the two of them next week and this week and I'm going to say it under my feet whilst being in mind I work from home now doing this and lots of other things all day you know like to, I, and I like I like it quiet I do like it quiet here I like it when there's no one here and it's they're all out doing their thing and I'm here quietly doing my thing um and now all of a sudden, my quiet home is going to be full of people. And well, not just people, but noisy males. So I'm a bit like, hmm. So Dan's in school until next Friday still. So not that he makes any noise at all, mind you. Um, 
But yeah, so it's a bit like, oh, right. Oh, and then yesterday, the best bit was other half then decided, because he couldn't go and do this other painting job, he was going to paint my kitchen and bathroom. And I'm like, really? With a house full and we're going to have the bathroom and the kitchen. It's just everywhere. So I just was like, okay. I have been waiting a long time to be done. So I'm trying not to moan, but I am moaning, aren't I? I mustn't moan. I mustn't moan. It'll be fine when it's done. I just can't stand having work done in the house because it's just so much upheaval in the meantime. And my house is not really big enough to handle upheaval in the meantime. So I remember when we did upstairs last autumn um, before I moved in here. And it was just, oh my gosh, just so much mess everywhere. Tools everywhere. You know, I can't cope with that. It's just got to be, you know, just get in, get it done and get everything out. Like it never happened, you know. It's the best way forward. <laughs> Right, there we are. So, I think they look quite cool on the top of there. What do you reckon? Have I carried that off? Have I got away with that? Now, I'll tell you what I did forget to try yesterday. And it was only when I went downstairs and I thought, oh, I didn't try any of these out. And I do like to try and demonstrate some of these products too. Because if they're a load of rubbish, best I tell you, eh? That's why they're sent to us. Um, they, I've got to be honest, I struggled because they were green. And everything else was purple and blue and black and white and I was like hmm I don't really so I'm looking at the least I'm thinking probably that one is the least clashy do you know what I mean um to go with this so let's just try I might not put it all on there but we'll just we'll just add a little bit of it and we'll see how that goes perhaps I can put a bit there because that's that's irritated me a bit oh, don't I sound precocious I do and pedantic Yes. Okay, so let's just try that on there. Oh, they're really sticky, so that's good. We like it when they're really sticky, don't we? We do indeed. Hey, look at that. Right, let's cut that one out. Sorry, I'm, I'm killing time. I'm not just being dozy. I'm killing time because I'm waiting for that to dry before I stick my... Uh, my um, crocodile in there because I don't want it getting all gluey. And I've just used the ooh. -hoo. There we go. Ooh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Super sticky. Yes, definitely recommend that. There, eh? lovely. Okay, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Right, let's grab the crocodile. Where is she? Top drawer, I hope. Oh, she is. Look, Rachel's getting tidy. <gasps> this is good. My system's working. Okay, and my eyelets. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's so annoying. So annoying. Right, okay. What colour shall we use, guys? I could do it. I need I need to order some more of these. Oh, and I've got to tell you, I've got to make you laugh. You know the rings? Did I bring them up? Oh, I haven't brought them up. Oh, I'll have to tell you tomorrow. I was going to show you what I've done. I've made a boo-boo I have. Another one. Never mind. I left them downstairs. Okay, right. Remind me to come back to that. Oh, he's back now. She's, she's shut up now, look. He doesn't hear her crying. He pulls up. They literally know when he's, he's home. He pulls up in the drive at the front. And if they're barking or whatever, they just shut up like that. I had to record the one the other day because she was howling. We couldn't work out which one it was. I think I may have told you. And I went out. It was when I was really poorly. And I'm not amused then because it, it grates on my head. You know, I was on a bit the other day about noises and stuff. I, oh, just no. Just couldn't cope with it. Well, I went up our mum's in the end. I was like, mum, I'm coming up. The dog barking. And uh, he said, well, they don't do it when I'm here, and I know. So I was hanging out the bathroom window my phone, recording this blinking barking noise the other day. Um, okay. Right, is that far enough down? I'm going to have to mark the middle of this, otherwise I'm not going to have a clue what I'm doing. So it's all by eye. It's all by eye. Right. Okay. Let's do the one first. Um, should I go? No, let's go that way, Rach. Stop being so cack handed There we go. Oh, nice. And then obviously, using my new technique, <laughs> that I thought of all by myself. Yes, of course you did, Rachel. Well, I did actually. It just occurred to me, but I nearly made a big boo-boo. And I know some of you were shouting at me. It's all through the hole. There we go. Oh, that was my paintbrush just fell. Okay, let's just put that in there. Caroline, I hope you like my tag. And I hope I remembered all the important bits. 
I just self-locked them. <gasps> I thought I'd broken it. There we go. I think this looks quite cool, actually. Considering I've made it out of the packaging paper, I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really thought it all through. Um, but this, this looks quite cool. It does. I love it. And as Carol Ann says in her video, this would be a really nice way to send some happy mail. If you wanted to send somebody perhaps some fussy cuts, you could pop them in here. Or, you know, some extra bits and pieces. Or, you know, if you've cut out some labels for somebody or what have you. Well, that's not quite central, but never mind. That one is. You know, it's, it's, it's a really nice, but it's also a really nice th way to put things in your journal and to hide little notes in. So if you want to like, write your little secrets, I like that as a hidden writing spot as far as I'm concerned. Well, a hidden pocket maybe, yeah. Right, now I'm going to use, and I'm looking around because I know I shoved it somewhere. Um, and I know I amused somebody <laughs> with my comment the other day. Because one of you asked, and I do apologise, because I don't think I answered your question when I was trying to do my comments the other night. Uh, what's wrong with eyelash? There's nothing wrong with eyelash at all. In the appropriate circumstance. But whatever I was doing, I just didn't feel it was appropriate. In this circumstance, I think it'll be ideal. Because it's nice and thin to pull through my hole. There we go. So let's add a little bit of bling with my glittery eyelash. I haven't forgotten anything now, have I? I don't think so. Oh, do you know what? I really enjoyed doing that. I had no idea what I was doing when I started. Probably I'm still a bit clueless now. But it doesn't matter we got there. We had a laugh along the way, didn't we? With my monster paper. Oh, monster board. Oh, God, that's it now. It is going to stay a monster board. You know that, don't you? Like the Frankenstein thing has stuck now in group, which is great. What have I done? This, this is another reason I don't use eyelash very often. It's because I'm blind as a bat and I can't see what I'm doing when I want to do it up to do a bow. Because there's just so much fluff going on. No, nope, I still can't see that. Oh, my word. Am I the only problem, person that has problems with us? Probably. <laughs> I think I have problems with everything else. Um, While I'm struggling with this bow, just want to just say something really, really quickly, guys. Um, If you are in our Facebook group, I would just like to remind everybody, and if you're not, you are invited, but I would just like to remind everybody that our Facebook group is a place of calm and of kindness and friendliness and um, inclusivity. I like that word. And that is all we foster there. I don't get tough very often, but I've had to get a bit tough today, which I don't like doing because I am a very inclusive person and I'm very much live and let live. Let's all get on. Let's all be friends. But there's been a bit of a unpleasantness going on. And um, somebody very close to me has been treated not very nicely. Via Facebook and a few other things. Social media and YouTube channels. Nonsense. Um, I don't really know what's at the bottom of it. But I don't like it. Um, and I just want people to know that we won't put up with that in the group. Um, I won't put up with it here. Um, you are welcome any time, you know, into the Facebook group. Um, but if you come, you be kind. And that's all I ask. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to move straight on now and say, look at my bow. Isn't it amazing? I love it. I love it. I love this. Caroline, this is a fantastic idea. Um, I've now just finished your idea. Um, but no, guys, seriously, please go check out her original. Um, hers was amazing. She did it with this beautiful um, bee theme. And it was in lovely yellows. But I just wanted to show you... Because I was sat, th sat there earlier thinking, oh, I can't just cut out another pocket, another tag, and another belly band at the masterboard. We need to do something different. Um, I think this is different. Don't you think this is different? Look at that. Who thought that that masterboard, the monster board yesterday, could bring about something so unusual? I love it. Right, that's it, guys. That's your challenge for today. Um, don't forget to put your hashtags on if you're doing anything for the 100 days uh, wrap. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you're really enjoying it. Um, and I hope I'm bringing you something inspirational every day and that you're not getting bored. As I said before, if there's anything that you'd like me to cover, please don't feel afraid to drop me a message. Um, I do like to think that I'm bringing you stuff that you're interested in. Um, and if you're bored <laughs> and you want to tell me, do it gently. Um, but other than that, everybody have a lovely, lovely evening. And I will be back with you all tomorrow with my number two baby in tow and probably have more ridiculous stories to tell you. Have a lovely evening. See you all very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.